We got a layer of jeans, one batting, and one flannel square. I think these I'm just gonna do minimal quilting just some random lines here and there after I do the square
I think I am just gonna do a lot of these just square around. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making it up as I go along, but that's all right. It's gotta come out better than the last one I made. That thing was scary looking, let me tell you. <laughs> You like my squares, Bubby? What are you doing? Okay, I have my squares. I got the flannel, the backing, and the denim. I'm just going to sew a line down to hold them. You can just do random lines or whatever you want. I have a walking foot and a denim needle. I had a quilting needle on, but I broke it, so I'm going to try the denim. Now, I am by no means a... Uh, pro or anything like that. I'm just doing it as I go along. Um, just trying to get this done for my brother. So now I'm going to sew the squares together and I'm putting them right sides together, but I'm not sewing through all the layers. I'm only taking out the denim. And I fold the other out of the way. You can pin it if you want, but I don't like pins because I'm always stabbing myself. So, and just line this up and then stitch it down. Alright, I got it started now. I'm just going to fold this out of the way. This one I sew too close to the line. That's why it's kind of hard to get these all together. But I'm stuck in second gear. Okay, now for the back. Just, I just let the seam fall where it seems to want to lay. It wants to lay that way. So um, I just lay that, put this over top. Now if you want to cut the bulk, you can cut this batting out. But I'm in a rush for time, so I'm just going to leave it in there. And I'm going to fold this to make a hem so the edges aren't exposed. And then I'm going to just stitch. And i got to move up because I don't want the very edges. Just along the edge to close that back seam. Somehow I got a pucker, but and see, then you'll have a flat seam with no exposed edges. Cut my threads, I always forget that, and it lays pretty nice and flat. 
and on the other side it's flat there this one's not as flat but if you wanted to you could run another um, seam across there which I'm gonna do just make sure you don't go close to the edge so you have room to put the other ones together. Then I'm gonna just keep doing this until the end. Um, right now I'm just gonna do rows of six because I don't really, I forgot to add up to find out how many squares I need. I think it was 180. Um, but the machine wasn't on earlier to show you before you sew, you should take all your squares and make sure that they're all the same size, either with one of these or a long ruler. It doesn't matter what you use. And, um, a lot of times if you just line up the corners, then you can, um, square it up easier. But I'm not going to get in detail to that because I'm new and I don't want to screw anybody up. Thank you. <laughs>
And this is the first time I've ever put binding on a quilt, so don't expect too much of good sewing here because I've never done it before. And if you can see, I didn't cut my binding too straight and I'm just not doing it over again. So I did buy the AccuQuilt, the big electric go, because my arthritis cannot handle cutting anymore. But I haven't had a chance to get it out of the box. So there goes my bobbins. <laughs> I forgot they were there. This machine vibrates a little. And there's my phone. Whoever it is, they can just leave a message because I'm busy. I don't ever use that phone, so I don't have to worry. I only use my cell phone. I just have that phone for an emergency in case one of our cell phone dies or for 911 or whatever you want to call it. Emergency. Oh, this thing. And you know what? As I'm sewing this along, I bet you I don't have enough binding made. Maybe I'll get out my Accu quilt. But there's going to be a learning curve for that. And I just want to get this done. Because I'm going to his house on Friday to give him this. Well, it's actually my mother's birthday, but I figure two birds, birds, one stone. So. All right. Getting ready to go to a corner. tugging I'm just letting the machine unless I get stuck on something then I have to help it along but normally now I'm just gonna sew about a quarter an inch to the bottom and then stop I know you're supposed to do a like a uh, what do you call it Back stitch. I'm going to take my needle up and just turn it even with that and hopefully it works out. You're supposed to go up like this on an angle and then back over. So I don't know if it's going to work or not but we shall see <laughs> when we're done. All right, I'm going to switch this piece around and then just continue sewing down the other side. All right, what do we got cut now? Oh, just some thread for you. Oops. Well, that wasn't too good. Now you see, <laughs> I forgot to put my pressure foot down. <laughs> Once I get this all the way around, then I will flip it over to the other side. They recommend you hand stitch it, but I'm not going to. And I've never stitched in the ditch or else I would do it that way, but I'm just going to stitch it so I can see where I'm going for this first one. Since this is a beginning all new experience for me. <sighs> I 
I think I like doing smaller projects that aren't thick, thick denim. Because uh, this one hasn't been too enjoyable. And probably if I knew what I was doing, it would be more fun too. So I'm just going to keep sewing and filming as I go along. And hopefully get better. <laughs> okay, we're coming to a corner. I'm going to do the same thing as before. And I don't think I'm going to have enough for the binding. Enough binding, so. And my binding's crooked because I can't cut very good with my hands. I can't seem to hold the fabric or, or the ruler down. So. Oh, I must have forgot to cut that. Easy fix. <laughs> All right, so to the end. Lift the needle. Now it's supposed to go up and then down. And turn this. And get her under there. I don't know if you're supposed to... Um, back stitch on this side or not but I back stitch just about on everything because I've had so many things fall apart on me and I don't want to have to fix this thing ever and if I do I'm gonna get out I have this great big well it's not big it's a really heavy vintage singer that I could try it on. I definitely won't be doing it on my grandmother's featherweight or my whatever the brown singer I bought. I haven't really played with it yet either. Oh. <laughs> I have a tiny, tiny sewing room as you can tell. Oh, I might have enough binding. One can only hope. I didn't measure or anything like that. I was just tired last night and I wanted it done. So that's what I did. Just, and hopefully I don't run out of bobbin. I should have started with a new bobbin, but I forgot to check. So we'll see how it goes. My brother loved the other one I made that was just jeans sewed together. I could not stand that monstrosity. <laughs> this one looks a little neater, but I don't know. I'm a, I like everything to be perfect, and this one is far from perfect. And it's a long way from my bag making, but... I like to do new things to keep my brain working. And I see, look at that. I'm gonna have to fix that. It looks like I missed the whole seam. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> oh. I gotta laugh, because what else would I do, cry? Not gonna happen. I'll just fix anything I mix, mix, missed in the middle with hand sewing because my machines had it with this denim and I don't I use this mostly for bag making and I don't want to ruin it I know I should get an industrial but I don't have room and this one does just fine with lightweight vinyl I'd like to try the Janome heavy duty machine but that'll have to wait I got other things coming plus I bought that AccuQuilt I had a 
baby lock jazz but I just couldn't stand it. I don't know why. I mean, it sewed, the stitch quality was nice, but it just seemed like it was big and clunky or bulky or something. So I sold it on the buy and sell. Took a loss, but I was happy the girl that bought it loved to quilt. So makes you happy when it goes on to somebody else. When I'm done, I'll off camera, I will check to make sure all these actually sewed on before I get to. I don't know where, oh, I started right there. I might have enough. I might have to cut another strip. I have a leftover piece over there I can use, so that's no big deal. Okay, take this out, flip it up to an angle, no, wait, there, okay, let's see if I can turn this again, uh-oh, <laughs> it went out, so I'll just pick it up, and Put it back underneath there. I think I'm going to cut these threads because last time it got jammed in there. There's the oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to run out of binding. But that's okay. Next time I'll measure and make sure I have enough. But this quilt's kind of just been made up as I go along, so let's hope it all turns out. At least my brother doesn't even know how to sew, so he won't know if it's done right or not. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to cut some more and get it sewed together. Okay, I got the binding sewed on the wrong side. Now I'm just going to flip it over and stitch it on the right side. barking he wants to play with the cat and the cat doesn't want to hear it I don't know why this is having so much trouble. Maybe I need to loosen this. Oh, shoot. I did the tension instead of the foot pressure. 
Not good. It's hard to concentrate when your stinking dog is barking. I love him. would be helpful if my floor wasn't crooked and my chair didn't keep rolling backwards. It's like a circus ride for gosh sakes. I uh, added more pressure on my presser foot to make it easier to go through. Hopefully it works. This thing's got to weigh 30 pounds, I tell you. Ah, oh, geez. Now my thread's caught on everything. Oh, I should have stayed in bed today. Yes, I should have. Out, just trying to keep my chair still. Oh, that's a chill from this. <laughs> and I tried putting this over my shoulder, but I couldn't even hold my hand up to sew like that. probably getting dull. I should have changed it. I'm going to cut some of the bulk out of here because that's going to be too thick to go through. I know it. There goes the chair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I know it's not. I'm going to have to hand walk it over this part. going on here now is this caught on something again no oh it's not in the maybe I should have wrapped that around three times so let's just walk it walk it walk it walk it all right let's try again What is going on? It was working good a minute ago. If I get through this without swearing, it'll be a miracle. Or breaking another needle. I've broken so many needles on this thing. If I ever do another jean quilt, it will only be a rag quilt. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to put this up over here. Ugh. Make sure it's stitching. Yep. 
Do a longer stitch length for the rest of this. I don't have this much trouble with my vinyl. I think it's the thread. I don't think it's for this, but I wanted something really strong on the binding to keep it from breaking. I should have just stuck with the regular, the regular thread. For God's sakes, ah, it's so heavy. I guess I should have put in a needle for this. I guess. Oh, God. I don't know why this isn't going through. With a walking shit. It just breezy, breezy, like, and squeezy. <laughs> if anybody has any suggestions, leave them in the comments below, because... This thing is kicking my butt. Now it's running like crazy. Jeez. Well, spoke too soon. All right, I gotta move some of these before they all go flying. Oh, I dumped everything over. I've been dumping and dropping and Should have just went out and played in the snow. That would have been a good idea. Then I'd be complaining about that. So. Oh, for God's sake. Get off of here. Trying to do this without getting my damn finger caught will be a miracle. No more for my brother. He's done. These aren't very good mitered corners either. I don't know what I did. It's not good. <sighs> and I'm not even taking the time to clip these. I just want this thing to be over with. <sighs> I have to be, I might have to do it all by hand. I was going to go around this thing twice, but you can forget that now. And I even, uh, maybe I should have cut some of this bulk off the seam allowance. Well, there's really not much because I went around there twice. Done, Gooby Doo. You coming to see Mama Sue? 
Oh, you're such a cutie pie. Yes, you are. You're a little cutie patootie. What's Henry doing? You better not be getting in the garbage. Yeah, is he? Were you being a tattletale? Uh-huh. Were you being a tattletale, Goobs? <laughs> I should have pinned these, but I, I'm just sick of this whole mess here. Oh, no, I got a whole nother side. Here, I was excited. I thought I was done. Oh, I got some extra threads. Next time, I will use my AccuQuilt so my blocks won't be so goofy and I got that strip cutter so that should help hopefully hopefully huh goobs goober he is allowed to play with that toy so you just forget about it Oops. Don't be spoiled now. All right, let's. I think this is the last side. Yippee! <laughs> yippee, yippee. Yes, I should have cut this down a little bit. I should have cut down the seams. That's what the problem is, trying to go through all those seams. I was being lazy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. That's a double, double seam there. Goober. Now I'm going to end this so you're not running your mouth the whole time. Nobody wants to listen to you bark, buddy. <laughs>